Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can swap a coin for another coin, but on a different network. So an example of this would be from ERC20 to BEP20 or Binance Smart Chain. In order to do this, you'll first need to download the SafePal wallet. It's both a hardware and software wallet. Now for myself, I've got the hardware wallet, but the software wallet will do just fine. So you don't really need to worry about that. Now there are other ways that you can swap coins for another version of it but this is just the way I do it and the reason why I do it is because I use the SafePal wallet already so that's why I do it this method but after you've downloaded and installed your SafePal wallet and got it set up your wallet homepage should look something like this over here now what you'll want to do is you'll want to go over here where you see the two arrows and when you do you'll then want to go down over here where it says bridge. Now bridge basically means go from one blockchain to another with the same coin. But as an example, over here, you'll see USDT. And if I click on that, it'll say ERC20 to BEP2 uh, or ERC20 to BEP20. And that basically means you'll get USDT from ERC20 to either BEP2 or TRC20 or BEP20 or TRC20 as an example. Now for for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch BEP2 to BEP20 for BNB, right? Or actually I'm going to do it vice versa. So over here, I'm going to change it. And over here is where I have the BEP20 BNB and I would like it for BEP2 BNB. Now this process is the same for the other coins as well. So it doesn't matter that this is BNB, it'll work for practically any coin if they offer it. I'm going to just click on 50%. Now then I'm going to click on next and then it's going to ask me if I'm okay with all of this stuff over here. And then I'm going to click on swap. And when I do, it's basically going to ask me to sign the transaction on my hardware wallet, which I will do right now. Okay, so now I've just signed the transaction and then basically it'll tell me how long it's going to take and right now it's an estimated 22 minutes over here and so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pause the video and let this timer run out and come back to it just because i don't want to waste your time all right so i'm back and as you can see i now have the bep to BNB in my wallet. I wasn't able to capture the exchange process, but take my word for it. As you can see over here in my wallet balance, it is now reflected in that swap that I had just done. In terms of how long it took, it really didn't take that long. It took maybe a couple of minutes to get it done. I'm not sure why it said 22 minutes, but either way, it was pretty quick. So yeah, that's how you can swap a coin for the exact same coin, but on a different chain using SafePal wallet. Anyways, I hope you found this video informative or educational. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below because I do check and respond. If you think that there's someone who'll get some value out of this video, please share it with them. If you're interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.